Bachelor Nation, come join me, the host of The Bachelor Live, on stage for a chance to find love with a lucky bachelor from your hometown. Oh my gosh, who will it be? Hello, welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy Wednesday. Okay, if you are watching, you're a member of Bachelor Nation. I mean, if you watch the TV show, The Bachelor, number one, you can be my friend. Number two, you might be confused. I am not Chris Harrison. It is also not Monday night, but tonight we are meeting the local bachelor who will be looking for love on stage at the Schnitz next week. It's a show called The Bachelor Live On Stage. It's exactly what it is. So in true fashion, we will introduce our local bachelor the way they do on the show. First name, last initial. This is Alex L. Welcome, our local bachelor. Okay, how did you become our local bachelor? <laughs> yeah, um, so I was actually in Los Angeles on some residency interviews, and at the time I was on a dating app, and somebody messaged me, a, a woman messaged me, and asked if I was familiar with the show and whether or not she could give me a phone call, and that was sort of, that was for <laughs> how it started, yeah. Wow. And then now, next Tuesday night, at the Arlen Schnitzer Concert Hall, you will be meeting some ladies yeah. on stage mm -hmm. with former Bachelor Ben Higgins, former Bachelorette Becca Kufrin. Again, they never say anyone's last name. They just put their last initial. <laughs> right. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I am <laughs> all the things. Yeah. I, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think it'll be a very unique, exciting experience. Yeah. <laughs> And so what do you do to like prepare? Because you're going to be going how many dates on stage? Do you know how many ladies? <laughs> I do they come a, out of a limo? Yeah, so I, I do think that they try to, just like the show, they sort of mimic a similar entrance. They come out of like a backseat of a limo. <laughs> and uh, I think there'll be 10 bachelorettes. Um, and through a series of games and events um, with a lot of crowd participation. Wow. So I'm, I'm hoping to get a lot of help from the audience. <laughs> uh, sort of hand out roses and whittle it down to, to one. I know we were, producer Christian and I were discussing earlier. We didn't get you any roses. We should have like given you some roses to repair, but they would have wilted by next Tuesday, so it's fine. So there you are, Alex L. What do you get like a, a thing under your name that says your job title, like they do on The Bachelor? What would it say? Yeah. So I, I I'm actually graduating from medical school in three in three weeks. Wow. Um, and so at first I was like really hesitant about being on this because I didn't want any like residency <laughs> programs to look at this as sort of like fame seeking or yeah. like. A, um, so uh, I just had them put graduate student. <laughs> Perfect. Like, That's graduate safe. student. <laughs> nice and safe. Yeah. But you got a lot of other things on that little card put up there. Former D1 baseball player. Yeah. You traded a baseball glove for a stethoscope. You know, moving up in the world. And what is your dream in life with your the love of your life that you meet on stage next week where do you guys go from there <laughs> oh very interesting well uh you know if if i find and form a connection um i think the the next uh step would be uh you know building a relationship off a off a two-hour set time stage <laughs> appearance and then um yeah i in the future am going to start residency and for internal medicine and then yeah it's <laughs> A lot's happening in a very short span of time. Yeah, are they going to condense like group dates, one-on-one -on -one dates, hometowns, fantasy suites? How far do they go that here on I th stage? I think I don't. Well, I, I will have family there. <gasps> um, I don't think they're there for more support rather than like uh, meet the parents on your first date. That's it. I don't, yeah, I guess. Pilot Pete did it with Madison. You know, it might it could work. You never know. Uh, <laughs> and then there is going to be some kind of fantasy suite. Whoa. Like, I think we get like three or four minutes without a mic and they put like a bed on the stage. It's very... What? It's special. Yeah. It is going to be so special. And then you get to hang out with Becca mm -hmm. and Ben. Are you a fan of The Bachelor? Have you watched The Bachelor? You seem like you're familiar with the whole format. So my, growing up in high school, I used to watch with my mom pretty religiously. Oh. Yeah. And then I went off to school and with the, the sports and the, the academics, it fell off the table a little bit. <laughs> um, but I, I have watched a couple episodes here or there. I do know that it's Pilot Pete or Pete Pilot. Or, yeah. We know he's a pilot. They yes. just make a lot of pilot jokes. He's looking for his co-pilot. What would you say you are looking for? in these ladies? Um, so I'm looking for somebody, uh, you know, that I have strong communication with and uh, somebody that uh, is, is intellectually curious and is passionate about either, you know, their work or what their hobbies. Just expose me to something that I wouldn't be exposed to otherwise. Ooh, just yeah. as you will be exposed on The Bachelor <laughs> live on, not too exposed. They give you privacy really for exposed. the fantasy suite. True, but if true. you want to go, again, the show is at the Arling Schnitzer Concert Hall. It's next Tuesday, March 3rd at 8 o'clock. 
You can see Alex L and find out if he meets the love of his life. You can find tickets at bachelorliveonstage.com. Thank you. you I'm excited welcome. for you. Good luck. We should do a follow-up.